charged with involuntary manslaughter, a mother who brought her son to a gun range only days before he killed four kids at his U.S. school will stand trial. The first parents to face charges in a mass school shooting in the United States are Jennifer Crumbly and her husband, James Crumbly. Prosecutors claim that on the day of the attack on November 30, 2021, they refused to take their son Ethan Crumbly home when he displayed violent drawings at school, provided him access to a rifle, and disregarded his mental health requirements. Each of them is accused of four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Ms. Crumbly's trial is scheduled to begin this week in Oakland County Court, which is close to Detroit, while Mr. Crumbly will go through a separate trial in March. Undisputedly, four days before the shooting, Ethan, who was 15 at the time, dubbed James Crumbly, then 47, my new beauty, when they purchased a rifle together. The semi-automatic weapon was a Christmas gift. On Instagram, 45-year-old Jennifer Crumbly said that she and her son had a, a mom and son day after taking him to a shooting range. A day before the shooting, Oxford High School in Michigan told her that Ethan was looking at ammunition on his phone. She forgave him, texting, I'm not mad. You have to learn not to get caught. In December last year, Ethan Crumbly was jailed for life without parole after pleading guilty to murder, terrorism and other charges. At his sentencing, he told a judge that he was a really bad person, who could not stop himself. He said his parents, did not know and I did not tell them what I planned to do, so they are not at fault. The Crumbly family received a call from the school a few hours before the shooting incident. On math homework, Ethan had doodled violent pictures with the caption, the thoughts won't stop. Please assist me. Investigators say the parents were advised to get him into treatment, but they left the school less than half an hour later, refusing to have him taken out. On November 30, 2021, Ethan took a pistol to school, however, his backpack was not inspected. Before turning himself into the authorities, Ethan murdered four classmates and wounded seven more. Police discovered the parents and charged them a few days later. If found guilty, they may serve a maximum of 15 years in prison, 